on moving day, a mother finds it hard to let go. Hopefully he's going to take his little mascot that he's had since he was a baby with him. <laughs> it seems a bit easier for some to say goodbye. Now are you going to miss your brother? Well, you know, maybe. But all our mover wants is to spend more time with his girlfriend. It would be nice to have some space together where we'll be without the interruptions of uh, parents or siblings. And today we're in West Sussex to meet a young lad who's fleeing the family nest to move into a pad of his own. He's waving goodbye to all the home creature comforts for a big move to the big smoke, London. He's going to be closer to work and closer to all the action. And talking of close, he's moving tomorrow. Meet Jonathan Batchelor from East Grinstead. He's 24 and works as an IT consultant for a large investment bank in London. Jonathan's been living back at home with mum Sally and younger brother Anthony for three years, since he graduated from the University of Kent. But it's all changed in the bachelor household. Mum's getting remarried and young Anthony's heading off to uni. So Jonathan's decided it's high time he made a fresh start too. Yes, Mr Bachelor is moving into his own bachelor pad, a stone's throw from his job in Canary Wharf. I have to say, Jonathan, you make a darn fine cup of tea. Isn't it good? It's not bad, not bad. And we know your mum didn't make this one. She's not here at the moment. <laughs> I know, exactly. Now, look, the big day is tomorrow. You're moving. How organised are you, Jonathan? Well, I've got most of my stuff packed um, in boxes, apart from my clothes and things. Um, but pretty much, it's all ready to take out to the van when my dad brings it along later on. So now I'm going to go and check, because you've said you're pretty organised. I'm going to go and yeah. check and make sure that you are. And if you're not, I'll be back. Yeah, I've watched I him. <laughs> right, so what is the main reason? Why are you moving? Several reasons. Mainly the commute from here is about an hour and a half. From my new place it'll be about 25 minutes, half an hour, which will be really, really nice. I can't wait. Uh, also, I want to try out living in London. I'm not sure if I like it anyway. Obviously, I've lived out here in the country, well, almost the country for all my life, so I want to give it a try in London. I might hate it because I might not like city life. I don't know. So it's a good uh, opportunity to give it a try. Top of the stairs, this must be Jonathan's room. He looks like he's pretty set for the move already. Loads of stuff boxed and packed up. All the books in this box here. Now, remember, don't put them all in the same box. It can be quite heavy, but that's not too bad. A few little keepsakes to take with him, including his little Smurf. I wonder if that's going with him or not. Check out the wardrobes now. These are all still full. Seems he's moving tomorrow. This lot could really be boxed up, but I should imagine what he's hanging on for are all these freshly ironed shirts. I think that's mum's work. So the big question is, is Jonathan ready to look after himself? And what about you? You're going to miss your mum big time because she probably um, does the cooking and the ironing and everything <laughs> for you. You're spoiled. She does. She does indeed. So, yeah, definitely being spoiled. I can't wait. Although, I can't wait to move out still. I mean, I managed at university. I did, I did my own ironing and I did, did my own cooking at university. So I, I can cope. It's not going to be a problem. Right, so this flat you're moving into is not furnished? It's not furnished, no. <gasps> and what about a bed? Have you got that? Side? I haven't got a bed. I've got a single bed here, so obviously I want like a double bed in my flat. Um, oh, if there's girlfriends so... around, perhaps. <laughs> so, uh... Not that your mother needs to see that particular part of this program. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've got a bed on order. Right. I'm taking a camp bed for a couple of nights oh, initially. That'd be quite exciting. It'd be like camping, you know? <laughs> not really looking forward to that. Jonathan looks pretty sorted with the stuff he's got in his room, but there's loads more gear here in the garage. Now, the garage is quite full, but he's labelled up all the stuff he's taken with him. For instance, four flat-packed chairs. There is a Z bed. Now, we know he's ordered a brand-new bed, and this is going to be a temporary measure. I'm going to have to see if I can try and sort something out and make sure that the other bed gets here a little bit quicker, because he can't be sleeping on this if he's got to work the next day. Have you made this decision completely on your own? Um, I did take my girlfriend round when we were looking, um, and so she quite likes it, although she's not actually moving in with me. Um, and I, when I got picked up the keys yesterday, I took a couple of colleagues round and they were quite impressed. Oh, so, were they? What, what, yeah. what did they say? They said it was very nice flat. It's good size and yeah. very clean and quite modern. It's nice. 
Right, Kevin, have you had a nose around? I certainly have, Sal. Yes, and what is your verdict, sir? Everything in the garage, kind of ready. His room stuff, kind of ready. But he hasn't really got a lot, even because the place he's moving into is unfurnished. I might have to do a bit of shopping for him, help him out. Isn't he the sweetest guy? Now, listen, he did say one thing. He said, I can't wait to get out of here. He's so excited about the thought of freedom and independence. I think saving three hours travelling a day and having his own space is very important for him. Sounds like quite a funky pad as well. Now, Sally, are you getting organised for this big move tomorrow for Jonathan? Yeah, I'm trying to get a few bits together for him. So how are you feeling about your wee son flying the nest? Oh, a bit sad. A bit sad to see him go, because he's already been away once to university. He's come back, and now he's going off again. Jonathan, sovereign view. It all sounds very posh, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Around the Docklands area, obviously, um, it's quite an expensive area. It's quite sought after yeah. for the, the young professionals and everything. And I'm just looking here about uh, the rent. £850 per calendar month, unfurnished. Yes, I managed nope. to knock that down slightly, so I'm actually getting it for 810 810 that's, nice. that's still so quite a bit. £10 a week less. But, what are you uh, paying here at home? Here, about £60 a week. I think you've been a bit of a soft fight. touch with him, haven't you? Yeah, probably. I'm told I am. Well, he needs mm. to toughen up. He's going up mm. to the big smoke. He's going to live yeah. in the big city. Yeah, he's not a tough. He's not a toughie, really. He's quite quite a softie. No. I think we just chuck them in, don't you think? Yeah. Just yeah. Okay. put them in the bubble wrap. Even a young man of independent means needs a few home comforts, and Mum's keen to make sure that nothing is overlooked. And the Wallace and Gromit mug, we have to have that. It's his favourite. Nobody's allowed to use that one. Well, let's make sure we wrap it up nice yeah. and carefully. Yeah. Now, Jonathan's moving into an unfurnished flat, so he's going to need to try and sort it out with a bit of furniture. We've had a little rifle around his garage, and this is something he's going to be taking with him. It's a little bit uh, worn, I think it's a polite way of saying it, so we're going to give it a quick bit of a revamp, and uh, because it's got paint and other things spilt on it, a few rings from coffee cups and stuff, it's going to need sanding down. Now, safety-wise, all you're really going to need is a dust mask, because once you start sanding down this old varnish, it creates a very, very fine dust, which is really no good. So pop that on. And it's a good idea to use safety glasses, although it's not essential for this process, but these ones are tinted to protect me from the sun. The only other thing you need, good quality sander. Mum's asked Jonathan to free up even more space by chucking out his junk that's been lying in the garage since their last move. Right, so Jonathan, you haven't seen inside these boxes for, what, six years? About six years. And yeah. that's the truth, yes? That's just about the truth, since Great. we moved in here. Excellent. Well, what I've set up here is what I'd like to call the moving day decluttering zone. We have three different areas. Trade, trash or take. Now, look at this little baby. <laughs> Tambourine man, what do you reckon? Throw it away. <laughs> Well, hang on, think. let's think about this. This could be good for maybe a flat warming party. No. Or maybe it's... when you're dancing around the living room in the newfound freedom. I'm free, I'm living in London. No more mother. It's sad. <laughs> ah, like a programme from Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat. You want to keep that, don't you? Yep. Quite put into that with musical the, things. Put that back with the ones that uh, where it should be with all the others. Look, 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 get excited. Is this baby pictures of you? Oh, quite a chubby <laughs> cheek little baby, weren't you? <laughs> and there you are naked in the bath. <laughs> oh, look, Beaver Project book. I'm going to throw it away. It's so old. Oh, you mustn't throw this I've away. Got to know, got Can to... I just say, Jonathan, this is the kind of thing that your kids in the future would love to see. <laughs> Come on, future wife stuff. She will look at that through and say, I love you, darling. Look at the way you coloured in that Union Jack. <laughs> Right, trade. Shall I take all this to the local charity shop? That's fine. I'll yeah. relieve you of it all. But I think that maybe the tambourine... Don't you want to take that? No. Last no. chance? Definitely get rid of it. Right, Anthony, we can take a few things in our van. Should make it a bit easier. Yep. So you know he's got nothing at the new flat, don't you? No, nope, he's got absolutely nothing. Nope. Well, we've got a few chairs, boys. They're your chairs. And this table, what do you think of that? Yeah, it looks good now, doesn't it? Yeah, just got to put a wax or a stain just on the top of that yep. just to finish it up. It should be quite tidy mm -hmm. after it's all done. Now, are you going to miss your brother? Well, you know, maybe. You could at least pretend, Anthony. The lad's garage owner dad, Chris, is bringing a van to help load up Jonathan's gear ready for the move in the morning. Chris, is this one of your work vans, then? Yes, it's one of the vehicles we use for transporting racing cars and very, very high-value vehicles all around Europe. Um, there have been cars up to over a million pounds in there. But for this purpose, it's... For this purpose, I've finished it to move, to move Jonathan to London. 
While the boys get down to the heavy work, Mum's making sure that Jonathan hasn't forgotten anything. Hopefully he's going to take his little mascot that he's had since he was a baby with him. <laughs> yeah, his, um, Blue Bunny will definitely have to come, lucky. unfortunately. <laughs> it's just his little bit of luck, I think. And how? what was um, Blue Bunny's story? How did yeah. he come into existence? Yeah, I made him when I was pregnant. Jonathan's had him ever since. Oh, well, Jonathan, you won't get lonely in the big smoke with a one-eyed bunny for company. So what do you reckon, Sal? Good move or bad move? I am concerned on two levels, Gavin. Number one, I think Jonathan is really going to miss having his mum around the house to do all the chores. Oh, yes. Yeah, and number two is, he hasn't got much stuff, has he? He's got the basics, table, chairs, only a temporary bed, though. Yeah, but what is he going to lounge around on, relax on? Good point, no sofa. No sofa. I think I might go and do a bit of shopping tomorrow. You know, get a woman's touch into that flat of his. It's a deal. I'll mm -hmm. come here, load the van up, and I'll meet you there later on. Good to see you doing some hard labour for a change. I like your style. That's a deal. It's the night before the move, and Mum just can't stop herself from sneaking in more stuff to remind Jonathan of home. Um, I think she's quite um, quite sad that I'm going, but uh, she's happy for me that I'm uh, moving on and getting a new place. Um, she's obviously moving on with her her life as well. She's getting married in a few months, so so it's a big change all round. Oh, I miss his company because um, he is good company most of the time when he's here. Um, miss him helping with the computer because he does a lot when the, when the computer goes wrong or when I need help with it, which is most of the time. My girlfriend lives with, with her parents as, as well at the moment um, and although she's not quite ready to move in with me um, it'll be nice to have some space together where we'll be without the interruptions of uh, parents or siblings. Coming up, Jonathan asserts his independence. Yeah, I manage at university, I'm going to manage again. <laughs> but boys are never too old for a spot of toilet training. I'll give it some vigour, that's it, right, and right underneath the room as well. It's the morning of Jonathan Batchelor's moving day and Sally is already up in London getting inspiration for his housewarming gift. That's shopping to me and you. Meanwhile, down here in East Grinstead, all is quiet, but I hope that van's loaded and they're almost ready for the off. Good morning, chaps. How are you doing? Morning. Not too bad. Is that one heavy? It yeah, certainly bit. is. Put my hand there, Sal. <laughs> We're all right. I can manage just about. Can you give him a little food parcel to take with oh, him or anything? Really it's it's already in there, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's in there. A few bits and pieces. <laughs> well, come on, I'll give you a hand with the rest of this stuff okay. and we can get on the way. Thanks. Meanwhile, up in London, I've set myself a budget of just £100 to bring a woman's touch to Jonathan's bachelor pad. Right, lighting. Absolutely vital to get the mood just right inside Jonathan's flat. And I'm thinking young professional and definitely not studenty. His desk area, oh, it needs a bit of spicing up. And this is beautiful. This says to me, techie, robotic, it's so Jonathan. And what a snip, 1297. Tall, freestanding lamp, an absolute must. It enhances the mood, it adds a little bit of romance and creates that homely vibe I'm looking for. I'm loving that one up there because it's square and it's masculine. It says, I'm a city man. Jonathan is going to love it. Back in East Grinstead, me, Dad and little bro are all mucking in and we're nearly done. Jonathan's pride and joy, his giant telly, has made it out of the living room and onto the van. It, I'm going in the van as well, then. <laughs> are you coming this side? <laughs> so what are you going to miss more? The telly or your brother? We'll have to see, won't we? I'll bet it's the TV. <laughs> How do you feel about that? That's quite sad, really, isn't it? Touchy-feely rugs. Oh, yes, he needs a bit of fabric in there on the floor. I've got one very similar to that under my coffee table and I've got a fluffy one in my bathroom. Far too girly for Jonathan. Let's be serious. Stop. This is much more like it. Look at this, a kind of Hessian feel to it. It's rougher, it's more masculine. Look at the price, nice. Let's just test it. Oh, now you see, this will be perfect because his lounge is actually quite narrow. A narrow carpet makes the room look wider. I'll take it. All I need now is a bit of greenery. Touch the tropics. It's perfect. Just goes to show when you know what you're looking for, a little bit of cash goes a long, long way. £100 bang on budget. I thank you. Back in West Sussex, the moment every mother dreads has come at last. Her eldest son is leaving home. OK, the television looks weird now. I'm taking mine away. Yeah, it does a bit. That one's playing up a bit, but I'm sure we'll cope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you take care and look after okay. yourself. <laughs> we call well, from time to time. Yeah, I manage at university. I'm going to manage again. <laughs> Have you got the car keys? Got the car keys? Got the flat keys? Got the flat keys. Let's get Ready going then. Go. I'll follow you down there in the van, okay? Okay. Don't go speeding off without me. Jonathan's leaving the family home where mum's full board and lodgings cost him just £260 a month. He's moving to Rotherhithe in south-east London. It's an area that's undergone massive development over the past ten years and now it's particularly popular with young city professionals. Jonathan's newfound freedom is costing him a whopping £810 a month in rent. More than three times what he was paying at home. You got the keys? I've got the keys. Oh. Should we go have a look? Let's have a look. Okay, here we are. Here the we big are. moment. Yep. Jonathan's new flat. We're here. Fantastic. Um, you might want to put these in the kitchen. That's the local takeaway uh, menus. <laughs> well, the kitchen's yeah. nice and modern, isn't it? Reasonably, Very reasonably large compared with the ones I have seen. Mm. And then through this way is the uh, living room. Yes, you like to take a short round and tell us about the features in your living room? Well, it's pretty empty at the moment. Quite <laughs> 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 simple, clean lines. I mean, there's room for three computers in here at least. Oh, <laughs> Oh, nice tiles in here. And you've got candles ready for that nice, <laughs> relaxing... It's a bit romantic. Yeah, that makes the bath. Yes, even I can stand up in the shower. Big so, enough for me. <laughs> you see, unfortunately, there's no hook for the shower, though. But oh. does, does the water work? That's the big Get off, question. <laughs> right, here's the bedroom. And thank goodness I've got a bigger wardrobe than I had at home. I'm really excited for it. I think this is fantastic. Loving it. And I think Dad's all geared up to start getting stuff out. Hopefully, yeah, he's keen to get a move on. <laughs> First thing off the van is Jonathan's big telly, taking pride of place in the living room. The temporary bed. Temporary bed, yeah. I don't know how it opens. Mm, well, I'm not sure the girlfriend will be impressed. He really needs his new bed today. Only one thing for it. Yes, hi there. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm phoning up about a double bed, a pine double bed that's been ordered in the name of Jonathan Bachelor in Rotherhithe. And I have a huge request for you. Is it possible that you could perhaps deliver the bed today? The reason being is that... Poor if anyone can swing it, Sal can. Now, we're going to be fitting a new riser bar, which is this little fella here, for the shower attachment to fit on, because there wasn't one when Jonathan moved in. And uh, judging by the fact there's no holes in the tiles, there was never one. So I don't know how the people managed to have a proper shower. Because there's a bar up here for the shower curtain, which is also missing. So it's all a bit peculiar. We're going to get it sorted out. A young city professional needs to have his power shower in the morning before he gets to work. To do this, we need to drill into some tiles. Now, there's a little technique when drilling into tiles. You still need a masonry drill bit, which is one of those ones with a little hammer head on the end of it. And you still need a masonry capable drill, but you do not have it on the hammer action. Once the holes are drilled, the raw plugs go in. They'll keep the riser bar firmly attached to the wall. Easy peasy, jobs are good'un. Have a shower. Gavin, do keep your clothes on. With all his shirts to iron for himself, thank heavens Mum has a spare ironing board. Hello. And it looks like Sally's phone calls paid off. <laughs> well, what do you reckon about that then? Surprised. I'm <laughs> very pleased. So, Dad, you not only loaded it on, we've got to carry it off this end, but you've now got to load it back on again and take it back. Wonderful. <laughs> this place has got a decent bed to sleep That's on. That's good. That's marvellous. I'm really pleased. With Mum not around, I feel it's my place to give Jonathan a quick lesson in bathroom hygiene. Get it on. Your mother would be so proud if she saw you now with the rubber gloves on, honestly. <laughs> you see, I had a long chat with her and she told me that you've never actually cleaned a toilet in your life. That's not true. I managed at university, I did it at university. Yeah, but that was kind of sharing a communal area, lots of people. And That's true. Did you really clean the toilet properly? Probably not. <laughs> exactly. Right, here's the key thing. Most important, always make sure you have a separate cloth for the toilet and a separate one for the sink and the bath area, OK? <laughs> Lurking underneath here... This is the danger zone, so I think it's really important to get in there and give it a really good scrub and scan. Go for it. Oh, come on, give it some vigour. That's it, right, and right underneath the room as well, because that is where a lot of germs will lurk. Thank you. Beautiful. Time again, eh? With everything off the van and the Z bed back on... Good luck. See ya. See you soon. See ya. Bye, Cheers, <laughs> Jonathan's family finally leave him to it. Bye. 
See you soon. Jonathan didn't bring a lot of stuff with him in the move. In just a couple of hours, the place is looking super organised, if a bit bare for now. But we've got a couple of last-minute tricks up our sleeve to jazz up his living room, a city chic sofa and £100 worth of accessories from my shopping trip. OK, Jonathan, would you like to come this way into your new lounge and see what's been going on in your absence? Isn't wow. it homely? It's fantastic. Is it looking good? It's so looking far, it's good. After three. One, two, three. That's fantastic. <laughs> Isn't it just the most beautiful couch? Thank you very much. Because you had nothing to I sit on I didn't have a couch, all. no. I was going to have to wait for a couple of weeks and uh, tour the shops. So I'm really pleased. I'm so happy. Cheers. Happy new <laughs> home you to you, much. Jonathan. It's well brilliant. done. Mm. Another successful move. That's it from today's moving day where we've moved Jonathan from East Grinstead up bang smack into the middle of the city of London. He's all set up in his new pad. Now, if you're about to move house, then I strongly suggest you check out our website. It's itv.com slash moving day. Lots of top tips here to help you move run smoothly. So from Sally and myself and the River Thames, we bid you farewell. Bye. Sadly, since moving day, Jonathan and his girlfriend have gone their separate ways, but he continues to enjoy his newfound independence. And as for the soft toys, the less said the better.